This is Oklahoma's own News 9. Welcome back. It is 930, and thanks for staying with us here on News 9. I'm Robin Marsh. And I'm Storm Jones. A group of Oklahomans are right now caught in the middle of Hamas terrorist invasion into Israel. Joining us live on the phone right now from Israel is Blanchard Pastor Mark Dunning. He's the pastor at Hillside Church here in Oklahoma and is in Jerusalem now. Pastor Mark, it's Robin and Storm in Oklahoma City. Good morning. How are you? Good morning, Robin and Storm. We are doing great. Well, Pastor, uh, boy, what an eventful few days it's been. Can you share with us? You're there with a group of 32 other people, a lot of Oklahomans. Where were you when uh -huh. you realized that Israel was being invaded by Hamas terrorists? You actually had your camera rolling. Can you just play this out for us, what you were doing, what you saw and heard? So we had left the hotel that morning to go tour the Mount of Olives and some of the sites in Old Jerusalem, and we barely got out of the bus, and, of course, the sirens went off. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just opened my phone, you know, and just started filming. I, You know, I've seen it on videos, but it's it's different being there, and, you know, you could see the strange rockets and then the Iron Dome. You could see them intercept them. And then you could hear the, the, you know, the boom from the interception, and it was, it was unsettling, but uh, it was really, really amazing to see the technology that Israel has at the same time. And, uh, but you know, it was unsettling. It was very unsettling. We're looking at live pictures from the region right now, Pastor. As you were seeing all this with your eyes and and videoing it with your phone, what was going through your mind? Well, we really wasn't sure exactly what was happening. Um, you know, I believe they got 5,000 rockets. We only mm -hmm. seen maybe 12 or 15 of those. And so we really didn't know the, the magnitude of what was happening where we were. We, um, of course, we're about 50 miles, I believe, from Gaza, where, where most of the conflict is going on. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't really hear that. But um, we really didn't know what was going on until we they... Of course, after that, they we went back to the hotel just to be safe, yeah. and then we seen the the pictures on their on their TVs, and then we kind of understood. Luckily, our tour guide is in close contact with uh, a few of the officials here in Israel, and they were keeping us really, really, um, uh, uh, you know, informed on on what was going on, and let us know that where we are, we're safe, and uh, not to worry. Mm -hmm. and that they would keep everything, you know, keep us in, in tune. And, and we just actually got a briefing about 30 minutes ago after I visited with you earlier, Robin, and, and um, told us that, you know, we're, we're going to be safe here. And then hopefully Wednesday when we leave, we fly out of Tel Aviv, and hopefully by Wednesday we'll be able to get on a plane and be back on American soil. Mm -hmm. But Tel Aviv is close to Gaza. Do you have worries about getting to the airport? Well... As far as we know, they told us earlier, because we did ask, and they told us that they will definitely give us an escort and get us to where we need to be, and, and they acted like we would be able to get on our plane and, and get home safely. So um, I'll just have to go with that and trust them. I know uh, so many Oklahomans are praying for you guys this morning. What do you want yes, uh, folks to know about your safety this morning? Well, of course, you know, my mom has been calling and, and texting and, and other, I mean, I've, I'm getting so many calls and texts, it's, it's, I didn't know I knew that many people. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I want everybody to know that here in Jerusalem, for the last two days, it's been quiet. We haven't heard, you know, with our own ears, other than what we've heard on the news, we haven't heard any fighting, we haven't seen mm -hmm. any more rockets. We've been going to the sites. Today we swam in the Red Sea or floated in the Red Sea. You don't swim. And and we've been having a great time seeing the sites, and it's, mm -hmm. it's been quiet here. So I think most of everything is is contained there at Gaza. And and uh, I believe right now, unless something else happens, that Israel's safe and we're safe. And, um, and uh, just, you know, keep praying that it stays that way. Well, Pastor Dunning, we appreciate uh, your comments this morning. We do know uh, from that terrorist attack over the weekend, now more than 1,000 people have uh, lost their lives yeah. and thousands yes. injured. And so please be safe, and we will check so back sad. in with you when you guys get back to Oklahoma Wednesday or Thursday. All right. All right. Thank Pastor you Mark so much. Dunning, we appreciate it from Hillside Church in Blanchard.